All right, guys, it is time for the morning routine video that I'm pretty sure nobody asked for. Step one, in order to have a successful life as a type one diabetic, I get up before the sun rises. Shoot. Step two, this is the rest of this is actually real, trust me. I actually pop over here, and because I want to oxygenate my brain, I do some breathing exercises before I get up for the day. Ready? I breathe in for seven seconds. I'm going to do it quick because I want you to wait. Hold it, and then breathe out. I do that a couple of times to oxygenate my brain, wake myself up, forces me to get out of bed too, right? And I'm going to go over and brush my teeth. Now, while I'm brushing my teeth, I'm getting rid of the bacteria that are in my mouth from the night before. It's gross, right? I want to make sure I'm brushing, and while I'm brushing, I want to think of three things, three, that I'm grateful for. Put me in a positive mindset for the rest of the day. Okay, so three things you're grateful for. It can be anything. Anything you want. Brush your teeth. And after you brush your teeth, I've got one more step for you. Tongue scraper. I scrape my tongue because I want to get that crap off. Remember the bacteria that's been sitting in your mouth all night? I'm not going to show you because it's kind of gross. But you scrape your tongue, which leads into our next piece. All right, now the next step's going to be in the kitchen. All right, so within the kitchen, I come in here. We got dried dishes from last night that we did, so I'm putting these dishes away in order to then use this guy right here to get some clean water from my freshly cleaned mouth, right? This is why we brushed our teeth and scraped our tongue, get that bacteria out, so I'm not swallowing that bacteria when I take my first sip of water, right? Now, if this doesn't look familiar, it's totally fine. It's, it's unique. <laughs> uh, this is actually a Kangen water machine, so I use this to get ionized, alkalized water healthy for me to start my day with, okay? So I start with clean water, with my clean mouth, I get to put the dishes away, and then prep for breakfast. All right, so now in the mornings, my pre-bolus needs to be a little bit stronger because I do have a bit more insulin resistance. Most of us require a little bit more insulin in the mornings, and uh, you know, something you might notice, maybe you just learned it right now. But because of that, I have to increase my pre-bolus quite a bit. So what does that look like? Well, I, I bolus while, actually before I cook my meals. So and if you want to find out what I eat for breakfast, what I eat in a full day, you're going to have to subscribe because I haven't filmed that video yet, but it's coming up. So I'll give you a second, right? That, that video right down below, hit subscribe. Not the video, the button. The button down below, hit subscribe right now. I'll give you a second. All right, you should have done it by now. So in my mornings, I bolus, and before I start cooking, I come over here, I open this bad boy up, I read the Bible for the first 10 minutes of my pre-bolus. Now, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. My wife and I have our name and sub subscribed. <laughs> I'm thinking about subscriptions now. Uh, my wife and I have our name inscribed, engraved, whatever you want to call it, in the Bible. It's from our wedding. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I spend the first 10 minutes reading the Bible. Second 10 minutes uh, is usually, I hate to admit it, but going through my phone. This is actually a rule that I'm trying to implement is not going on my phone in the mornings. I usually make it about 45 minutes before I get on my phone, um, but that's been something that I'm working on personally. Now, as far as the meal itself goes, once I make it to my, my 10 minute marker, after I finish reading the Bible, I hop over, I start cooking my food. It takes me about 10 minutes. My total pre bolus timing is 20 minutes. And once the food is ready, of course, we can eat. Some delicious food. Now, with my meal, I also take a few supplements. I take vitamin D. I take this Ucon supplement, which is essentially an anti-inflammatory, uh, like a multivitamin sort of thing. But that's the gist of my morning routine, guys. Um, as you'll notice, we got a couple of things that I doubled up, right? I wake up and do breathing exercises. I brush my teeth while I talk about what I'm grateful for. Uh, I had a routine scheduled on our, our Google Home that tells me about, you know, the weather for the day, what reminders I have, calendar appointments I have. And then from there, I pre-bolus and I read the Bible, make my meal, and then eat. And uh, for me, that usually starts around 7 a.m. And at 8 a.m., I start my day with type 1 diabetic client calls. We hop on, as you know, probably. I'm a coach for type 1 diabetics. I help coach people to uh, achieve more stable and predictable blood sugars through the use of the 80-20 blood sugar formula. Now, if you have no idea what that is, you're probably new around here, and that's totally okay. What I invite you to do is check out the 80-20 blood sugar formula at diabetesinaction.com. I did a free training over there that I think you're going to love, and uh, I grab a notepad as well. It's about an hour long, so uh, shout out Distractions and check that out, but if you're looking to create a new morning formula, I would suggest starting the night before 
and thinking what's going to set me up for success. What's going to set me up for time to pre-bolus, right? You don't want to be rushing out the door. That's how we get those post-meal spikes. What's going to set me up for being in a good mental space, right? Because I start my day with gratitude, because I, I talk about, you know, three things that I'm grateful for today. Sometimes it's literally, I can't think of anything. So I'm like, uh, insulin, <laughs> my pump, uh, Dexcom. Like I'm grateful for those things too. But other days I get deep into it. I'm like, wow. I'm, I'm really grateful for my family. My family is incredible. Are you kidding me? I am so grateful for my wife. My wife's amazing. Some days you get deep, some days you don't, that's okay. But the point is to incorporate things that are going to set you up for success, happiness, joy, and uh, incorporate those into your daily routine. You don't have to have a perfect structure like I do. I do things uh, basically the same every single morning, and that sets me up for success. But I would recommend looking at a few things that you can build into your morning routine, at least loosely, that are going to set you up for success and happiness. All right? So uh, if you want the 80-20 blood sugar formula, be sure to check out diabetesinaction.com. And definitely, most definitely, hit subscribe down below this video. Make sure you check out the other videos we have. And I'm going to be posting what I actually do eat. Obviously, this is not my breakfast. Um, I'm going to be posting a full day of what I eat in a future video. So subscribe, check it out. See you guys later. Keep up the fight.